Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe, and we're gonna start in for like our transition shade with the color Creamsicle, and just blend out all the way, um, kind of like halfway in your crease, so it can work its way up to your transition shade. So the next color we're taking from the same palette is called Hunts, and we're just gonna pop that right below that creamsicle color and work its way in you can go back and forth with the two colors to blend it out and um, intensify the color as needed Okay, so the next color we're going to use is um, a color called Chip. It's so funny because I thought this color was more of a brown, but then when I popped it on, it was kind of giving me that purple vibe. So I made it work, and this is what we have. So at this point, I'm going to show you guys how I did my cut crease. I did kind of speed it up. Um, so if you guys want me to do a video where I kind of show you exactly how I do it, then just let me know. But right here, I'm just going to uh, cut my crease um, with the NC30 um, concealer from MAC. And a trick that I do is I place the concealer on my eyelid and then kind of like look up or blink to figure out exactly where um, the concealer needs to go above my eye. So right here, I am showing you that I'm using another color from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette called Pool Party. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna pop that right on my lid to give it a base before I put the glitter on. After I put the lit, uh, this color on, I was kind of like not sure if I wanted to do the glitter just because I have really liked the, the look of this color. But at this point, we are going to take a very small detailed blending brush um, and use the color, I believe it's Central Park, and pop that right on the outer V part of our eye. You don't want to take it up too far either. Okay, girl, it's time to pop that glitter on. Um, I use a very small um, detailed brush to put the glue on, and then I'll put the glitter on right after. Um, you want to work in sections, and you also um, do not want to put the glue on your whole entire eye at first and then try to put the glitter on. Like, literally just work in sections and place it where exactly where you want. I always use two makeup brushes while doing this. Instead of using the same brush to the glue and the um, the glitter. Yes, time to beat that face. Okay. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, shade. I think in 310, 340. Okay, I'm not sure. Mixed with uh, a Maybelline Fit Me um, 
foundation in 250. Uh, right here, I'm using the NC30 um, concealer from MAC to highlight my face, under my eye, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. I love doing my eyes, but doing my face, beating my face when it's time to do my makeup is my favorite part because yes, if you have a great foundation, then you're set to go. Who really cares about what your eyes look like? If your foundation looks bomb, bitch, you're bomb, okay? So I'm just gonna blend this concealer in from side to side, up and down, um, until it looks flawless. Okay, right here I just used some Laura Mercier Makeup Revolution Banana Setting Powder to set my face. Just literally set it in all of the places that you put the concealer in um, just to lock it into place. I'm just taking a foundation powder that's the same um, tone as my skin to just set the rest of my face so that when I powder contour my face, it's easier for the powder to glide on and um, blend easier with my face. I do put it over the parts I highlighted my face just so it doesn't look like so white. Um, I don't really bake anymore, but I do put the powder under my uh, cheekbone just to really define it. I also put it in my smile lines just because throughout the day I if I smile it does tend to crease there and if you put the setting powder there and let it just sit for a minute it really just locks it into place and you won't have to have that problem um throughout the day okay because I know y'all was seeing how I was looking real pale so we just going you know bronze the face up I'm using a wet and wild um I think it's like a contour it's called caramel toffee it has like a banana shade and a brown I don't know whatever I'm just gonna use that to you know give me some life give me back some life and put it on my face and all the parts where I would like normally contour um just to give me some more y'all I have been living for this palette this is um the it's my ray ray times B uh, bh cosmetics palette I use the darker shade well, the medium to dark shade in there to kind of sculpt my face to contour. I don't know what it is, but I swear when uh, these makeup brands collaborate with um, like YouTubers or other people, there that brand is that um, collaboration is so much better than the actual products that they sell. No shade though. Um, right here, I'm just um, popping some of the same colors I use on my eye to um, put underneath my eye. I believe I use. Um, hunt and uh, the soda pop color and then right here I'm just gonna use the NYX um, duo chrome blush it kind of has like a, a, a glow in it I really like that and right here of course the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter this is one of my favorites it just has that really pretty just glow to it and I thought it would just make this look look very very pretty on the face Okay, so here I already have my liner on, and I'm just gonna pop on this um, lippy from MAC Cosmetics called Flesh Pop. It's one of my favorite like pink um, lips that I like to um, usually top off with a gloss. Okay, here is the final look. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe just so that you can be notified when I will post a new video.